worried about the education sector. We've already gone through one year of a very <laughs> confusing uh, module-based long-distance learning uh, program. Can we afford another school year of this? I'm hoping not, uh, Sito. I'm hoping that by uh, August, September, we will have face-to-face -face classes, at least in low-risk and zero-COVID areas. Um, we had one year of pure uh, distance learning. 90% uh, mm -hmm. of our kids uh, went through distance learning. And uh, personally, I'm not so confident uh, of the outcomes. No? And uh, we had to tweak uh, our assessment uh, uh, strategy to find out uh, if they are learning or not. But that mm. is not the usual assessment uh, uh, activity. So if we, in other words, if we follow the traditional assessment activity, uh, I don't think our children would even uh, uh, pass or uh, qualify um, to our expectations. So in other words, I'm really hoping that by August, we will go back to face-to-face. Of course, one thing that uh, we learned from this virus is quite unpredictable. If our teachers, that's why I'm appealing to our teachers, because come June, it's their time. And I'm appealing to, their, to our teachers to, get, to go out and get vaccinated.